naman po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tanji. I'm very excited for our show today. I get to interview one of my dearest friends. He was born in the Philippines and he's a current Hollywood native. Phil M. actor Clifford Banagale has studied opera as a young boy. His breakthrough role here in Hollywood was co-starring along Oscar nominee Sasha Baron Cohen as Diesel in the movie Bruno. He has since steadily grown into a regular sketch comedy here on Fun Flip Fridays. Isa po siya sa ating mga PPPers. He's done films internationally and now he's doing live music with this current project called Rumors featuring the music from Fleetwood Mac. Once again, a regular on Kababayan Today. Kasama natin si Cliff. Hi, G. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad Hi, you're everyone. here. Yeah, me too. I just want to say before anything, I want to say thank you so much for always being so committed to PPP. Whenever we need you, you're here for us. Yes, always. And I thank you for opening the doors to me too and other people like myself um, and to get to show all of us how we all look differently as Filipinos. I think it's very important and uh, to get that opportunity as well. Okay, well, let's start off first. Saan ka sa Pilipinas ipinanganak? Sa Manila. Sa Manila? Ay, yeah. magaling pa magtagalog. Oh, po, marunong po. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Where are your parents from in the Philippines? Also Manila. Uh, si mommy ko, mommy side ko is Visaya. My dad's side is Ilocano. How old were you when you moved here to America? I believe I was seven. Seven years yeah. old. And I'm impressed kasi marunong ka pa rin magtagalog. I kind of lost it for a little bit until like in after high school I started hanging out with my other Filipino friends. Mm -hmm. Cuz you know there's kind of a stigma when you're learning or growing up as a Filipino kid that Filipino or speaking Tagalog is not cool. So after that, I relearned it and I watched TFC. My mom watched TFC. There's like a lot of teleseries. So I said, you know, it's important to go back to the root. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no, I, I, I understand this because growing up also, it seems like a lot of parents mm. didn't want their kids to to speak Tagalog because they thought that if they spoke Tagalog, they would have a hard time speaking English. Yes. Right? Yes. But I'm so glad that you've embraced your yeah. being Filipino, <laughs> right? And I know you live in a very Filipino household. Taga saan kayo dito sa America? Uh... Sa uh, West Covina po. Oh, yun! Di ba? Marami <laughs> tayo. Marami tayo mga Pilipino na nasa West Covina. Yep. Shout out, West Covina. Uh, thank you to our kababayans that watch us there. So, I'm interested, as a young boy, mm -hmm. you studied opera. Bakit opera? <laughs> well, my grandmother, she was a singer. She sang opera in church all the time. So she would bring me to church and then she would teach me opera. Then we would go to the Philharmonic and all that stuff. So I took in as much as I could. And my aunt was a singer and she was a dancer. And my dad sings and he has he plays guitar. So I Filipino ka nga talaga. It runs in the blood. Yeah. Dugong dugo. Okay, dugong dugong Filipino. Uh, besides from music, mm -hmm. I know that you also went to a very prestigious dramatic arts school. Yes. Let's talk about that. I went to the American Musical and Dramatic Academy mm -hmm. um, here in Los Angeles. They have campuses in New York and Los Angeles. They mostly cater to musical theater or dramatic or film types of studies. So. I went to there for conservatory school and... So how many years was that? Two. Two years. Two years. But okay. you can choose to get your B Bachelor's of Art if you want to as well. But okay. I, I started working before I left school. So mm -hmm. I was like, well, I mean, if I'm booking already, I might as well just keep book yeah. booking. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> okay, so I know it's, it's a jungle out there. Yes. And, you know, you have to audition as a Filipino-American. Mm -hmm. Share with me how it's like because I know that there are hardly any roles for Filipino Americans. Yeah. Um, in Hollywood right now I think because the Filipino look is so diverse mm -hmm. they don't know what they're casting. You right. Know? You could play what? Anything. I'm, I've been Indian, I've been Latino, I've been not a Filipino except for once. Okay, so <laughs> in my you, entire casting. <laughs> so your whole career you've played everything but Filipino except for once. Yeah exactly. Wow, exactly. that's startling, yeah. huh? And, and it's actually, it's, it's kind of fun when you see a bunch of Filipinos in one waiting room. You're like, oh, guys, 
This is the first time seeing you. Usually I'm like the only Filipino or I'm the only Asian type person okay. in a call. But now things are changing, right? Yeah. And this is really exciting in yeah. Hollywood. Very exciting. Yeah, because <laughs> now uh, there are lots of diversity mandates out there mm -hmm. that require that uh, the studios cast people of color. So yes. that's very, very good. Yes, and we are people of color. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so being Filipino here in America and going out there and auditioning, you, you mentioned that there aren't a lot of Filipino Filipinos out there, mm -hmm. but you're also part of this network of Filipinos that really work here in Hollywood yes. and also support one another, right? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that sort of, uh, you know, th that group that yeah. you're part of. Um, one of our biggest and most fondest group is uh, Filipinos in Entertainment, which is PI, mm -hmm. um, that you co-founded as well. <laughs> you know? Uh, and that's when I first met you, mm -hmm. a long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. And then we also have uh, Filipino Hollywood Mafia, which mm -hmm. is FHM, which is also a great group to connect with other executives or people in the business mm -hmm. and outside of our business to really get to know you know, it's not just important to know who the Filipinos are, but we as Filipino actors and entertainment, we also got to know who does what as a Filipino in our industry. Right, because right? kailangan tayo magtulungan, di ba? Exactly. We, we need to sort of help each other and also collaborate with one another para mm -hmm. makagawa tayo ng mga um, stories and, you know, not just stories, but to get our experience yes. out there in the world. Yes. Okay, pagbalik natin, kasama pa rin natin si Cliff Banana. We're going to talk more about his journey here in Hollywood. We'll be right back.